This is a classroom in South Sudan for women long past school age. Decades of conflict in the region has left women powerless, illiterate and vastly disempowered. Started in 2010, the United Nations organization UN Women is now at the forefront of the fight for women's rights. In New York, it held a special event to highlight this year's theme that equality for women is progress for all. Former US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton appealed for more to be done. When women and girls thrive, entire societies thrive. Just as women's rights are human rights, women's progress is human progress. Yet for all that we have achieved together, this remains the great unfinished business of the 21st century. The UN's Millennium Development Goals included several female-centered objectives, including improving maternal health, reducing child mortality, and promoting gender equality. The targets won't be met by next year's deadline, but the UN is pushing to make women's rights an ongoing priority. The head of UN Women, Pumzile Nambonuka, served as South Africa's deputy president. She feels much still needs to be achieved, including having more women in positions of leadership. There is no doubt in my mind that we've got significant unfinished business. In relation to ending violence against women, in relation to the protection of rights uh, of women across the board, and in relation to issues of leadership, we put all of those things together as what could form one goal. Umlambo Nuka acknowledges that around the globe, more girls are in school and fewer women die in childbirth. But that progress, she says, has been, quote, slow and uneven. And more needs to be done to give equality to more than half of the world's population. Nick Harper, CCTV, the United Nations in New York.